Good morning, Chattanooga. Here are the top five local news stories you need to know today. First of all, the City Council wants more answers on a proposed $100 million commercial and apartment project called Chattanooga Village. Council members have put off a rezoning decision on the 190-acre project for two more weeks. Next up, Chattanooga-based consumer products maker Chatham has bought the worldwide rights to antacid medicine Rolaids from McNeil Consumer Healthcare. The chief executive of Chatham said the addition of Rolaids represents a rare opportunity to obtain an iconic brand. At least four people have been charged in a Chattanooga kidnapping. 25-year-old Shane Keller told officers he was going to a house on 36th Street to sell $150 worth of methamphetamine at the time. The kidnapped kidnappers stripped him of his clothes, cut his face and neck, blindfolded him, and bound his hands and feet, according to a Chattanooga police report. Keller's mother said he told her he was going to visit friends. The first round of sewer repairs should come within 9 to 10 months. The City Council passed the expenditures yesterday, totaling almost $38 million. And finally, four people have been exposed to a rabid llama in North Georgia. Officials say a veterinarian was called to a Fannin County house after a llama there was found biting at itself, biting at others, and spitting at one of its caretakers. The llama was euthanized, and the caretaker is now receiving post-exposure rabies treatment. For updates on these and more stories, visit timesfreepress.com and follow us on Facebook.